Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, once we're finished with the preliminary pre-flight procedure, now we will continue with the CDU pre-flight procedure. Let's do this together. We make sure that the initial data is set in the IDENT page. We make sure that the model is correct, engine rating is correct, and the database is up to date. Now we go to the policy need page. Here we can uh, type the reference airport, which is uh, Oscar Mike Delta Bravo. That's the AKO code for Dubai. We can set it on the reference airport page. And you guys can find these codes on the internet if you want. Let's go to the next page. And now we are going to enter the present position on the set IRS position line here. And that's set. Now we make sure that the navigation data is set and we go to the route page we'll set the origin airport which is oscar mike delta bravo and then we go to the next page and we can enter the route so we have via and we have two via is for airways and two is for waypoints first waypoint is going to be mvix so we type it and put it in two next one will be tardy. We are going to fly direct tardy. We are going to type it and uh, put it here. And the next one, uh, we're going to enter an airway, which is the November 6 to 9. We put it here and that one is going to take us to position Musuk. We type it Musuk here. And finally, after Musuk, we fly direct to a position bubil, which we put here. Now we can go to the previous page here and we can select the flight number. Dream arrow one, two, three, four, and we put it in the flight number line. We can then go to the next page and we can activate and execute this route. Now let's go to the departures uh, page. Here we're going to select the runway and departure routing. Out of Dubai, we're going to take off from runway 30 right. We select that one and then Ambix 6 Foxtrot. And we select that one. We can execute the runway and departure routing. Now in the next page, we check the RMP is correct. And then we go to the route pages to check the route is correct. And we go to check the legs pages as needed, just to make sure that the flight plan we have set is correct. We can check the waypoints, pressing that next, and you can see that the flight plan is correct. Now we check the performance data is set. We go to the perfect page, and here we're going to type the zero fuel weight, in our case, 54 0.9 and we'll set it in the zero fuel weight uh, line. We verify that the fuel on the CDU and the flight plan is correct and the gross weight is correct. Now we select N1 limit page and we'll type the outside air temperature 31 degrees Celsius. We put it here. And now here you can see the, the thrust settings we have available. We have 26K. If we select it here, you can see it's uh, going to give us about 99.8% and one 24K is going to give us 89.8. Uh, and then we have 22K, which is going to give us 84.8 and one. Today we need 24K, we'll select that one. We select the takeoff reference page. We go to page two of two. And here we have the acceleration height, the engine out acceleration height. And guys, I'm not going to talk about this today. You let me know if you want me to make a video explaining this in detail. I will be more than happy to do it. For now, let's go to the previous page. And we are going to type the CG, 18.7. We set it here. And we are going to get the trim. We verify the trim value is correct. V speeds. We need 135 for V1 here. 
142 will be uh, VR and 145 will be V2. Okay guys, stay tuned for the next video. We will be talking about the pre-flight procedure. I hope to see you soon.